start to my holiday. Sun's out, views are incredible. I mean, I don't know if you can see out the window there. So just on my way to uh, my favorite campsite, right on the cliffs, uh, little fire pits on each plot. It's just amazing, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to get here. The sun is blaring, it is so warm. I'm gonna put shorts on. The flip flops are coming back out. Oh my God, I've missed flip flops. It's shoes constricting my feet. They've only been on an hour and they're sweaty already. Probably not a detailed fit for the internet. Oh, you're stopping. Great indication there, buddy. Well done. Living the van life is just, well, it's ain't like any other life really. You still got chores, you still go to work, you still do what you gotta do. But at times you are on a heightened sense of alertness, especially if you're in a place you don't really know. So to come away for a weekend and park on a campsite still has that holiday feel, despite the fact I brought my house with me. I had big plans for this cupboard, but it's just become a cupboard of crap. Oh, hello, old friends. I'm just gonna sit here for four days, listening to that, and chilling out. Any excuse, it'll be in the water. Go on then. I forgot Lance had his uh, light up collar on when he went in the sea and the salt water sent it haywire. <laughs> I can't turn it off. It's saying it's charging. Um, yeah, I think that's about had it. Never mind. for my coffee. That morning the place filled to the brim. The scorching weather for Easter holiday had given everyone the same idea. It was pretty cool, but it did kind of take off the quiet and secluded vibe that I was going for. There is a laundry on this campsite, but being Easter, it's uh, absolutely ramoed, so 
just gonna do it in the sink instead. After the laundry, I found myself doing little odds and sods jobs. Then I washed Lance, and then before I knew it, I was doing a full blown spring clean. I mean, it was long overdue, but kind of a weird time to do a spring clean when you're on holiday. But with those views, the weather, and the sea air, it weren't even a chore. Just a good cleanse ready for spring. Come on, Lamp. Well, it's only night two, and already I feel so much better. Completely recharged. I'll be honest, the whole um, readjustment back into the UK has been, it's took its toll. Uh, getting back into a nine to five routine, it still hasn't quite, I haven't quite got used to that yet. I really needed, oh, that's just taking a poo, hang on. Yeah, where was I? The whole winter, cold and gloomy kind of, it's all just kind of played its part and I've just, just been a bit down in the dumps uh, the past, I'd say two months or so. But, um, but just these past two days being here, being right out of the way, um, having this beach walk, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And chilling out and not having anything really to do. I mean, I've done a few little odds and sods on the van, done a little bit of video work. Other than that, I've just chilled. And um, yeah, I really needed that. Things are looking up, a bit more positive, although, I do need to turn around now because the tide's coming in and if I don't make it back down there in time I'm going to get wet! A lot of you guys commented about my heating issues and suggested diesel heaters My van does have one, uh, you've got the two blowers there and the intake uh, It was already fitted when I bought the van uh, it's an Urba Spasher. Um, I just didn't really, I think I mentioned it like for a second in the last video so it just didn't really get mentioned. From the start of to the end of January, it was out of action. I was repairing it. Um, so that's why it didn't really come into play in the last video, I guess. But, um, ow! Smacked my hand against this. Yeah, I just never thought to really bring it up in the last video. I didn't record much about it, but I do have one and it's on at the minute. It's working again and it's keeping us nice and warm. And you, <laughs> I was hoping the heat would wear you out, but obviously not. As great as the campsite on the cliff was, it did start to get a little bit busy and was a bit loud for the kind of vibe I was going for for the weekend. So Sunday morning I moved inland, did some food shopping and then headed for the first campsite I could find, this time with electricity. I wasn't expecting much but the views from this place were incredible. You going in the shade? No, you're coming for a fuss. <laughs> Found your shady spot. Don't like them, do you, mate? Forest. That's where we're going. Come on.
gutted I didn't think to bring my hammock, but I did bring a book, some water and some food. So me and Lance hid away in this forest for about three hours. What a beautiful walk that was. Although I did get in a bit of trouble with a, um, the, the local farmer. Um, there were signs up saying livestock, which there was livestock in some fields. Um, got through all them with the lead. Got to this last one and it just turned to forest. I had a look around, there was no, there was no sheep. So I thought, okay, we must be off the land. And like the split second I took Lance's leash off, all I could hear from these trees was, get that dog on a lead or I'll shoot it. So slightly shitting myself, I was like trying to apologise to this voice coming from the trees and uh, fumbling to get Lance back on his lead. Anyway, I went for the walk, come back, and uh, this farmer was actually sat waiting. And you could tell from his, his body language and the way he was, that he was just primed for an argument. And I was like, ah, oh, great, confrontation, my favourite. But he was confiring over, that was bloody stupid what you were doing. And all I could do is put my hands up and apologise, because at the end of the day, I was on his land. Uh, I messed up. So I put my hands up to that, just all de-escalated de and he, he, he calmed down a bit, um, asked him what he was doing. It turned out he was just doing all the tick treatments, he was telling me all about that. And uh, I managed to steer him off the conversation. He did keep trying to like bring it back up and trying to tell me the legalities of him firing a 12 ball shotgun in my direction, killing the dog and how he'd get away with it. But I was just like, okay, and then turned it back onto something else until he just, we got to the end and parted ways. <laughs> Lance has got another tick. Um, we're quite getting, we're quite used to these now. Being abroad, and yeah, he's running through some long grass, and there it is. But it's all good because I've got this little tool that I picked up abroad. Lance's hair just gets everywhere, so you've really got to part all of the. Oh my God! Look at this. Really, he's proper gone in. There he is. Uh, well, he's dead now. I'm going to stick him in the log burner. And you are going to get a full body check. He knows what time it is. Time for the medical alcohol. Come here. Come on. Here. Good boy. Got to clean it, mate. Right, you know all the crap behind me. That is um, me shopping. <laughs> I had intended on doing this bit just yet. I wanted to get settled, but basically getting all of his areas, mainly around his ears, because they're quite warm and that's where ticks like. Uh, <laughs> usually you quite like this bit, but you've got a tennis ball outside, so you're desperate to get out, aren't you? But as you can imagine, Lance usually quite likes this bit because he's just a big fuss. But, on, on your back. Good boy. Check all the pits. You gentlemen area. Okay, I think we're clean. Sometimes get on his cheek flaps. He's got a very flappy face, haven't you, mate? Oh, oh. That's it. Good boy. Oh, he's behaving for the camera for once. What's going on? Oh, you good? Go on. Monday afternoon came round and it was soon time to head back to reality, but not before getting stopped by a nice bloke on a bike. Just my uh, my dash cam. <laughs> no, it's um. Just reverse. Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Uh, I've got to do one for work at the minute, um, and that'll be out probably next week. And then after that, it will be back on mine. So probably about two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve brings out the worst in me. He does. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet. You. And you, ma'am. See you soon. A bloke came up to my window on his bike, and he goes, "Do you know what? I watch so many people on YouTube, but I've never met one of them. I've seen narrowboat people. I've seen van life people." Never met him, we were the first one. And yeah, it was great, we had a really good chat. The guy's name's Rob, um, he's just put his house up for rent and got himself a van as well and he's doing the same sort of thing. Scorching weather held right the way through Monday, enhancing the whole drive back through Wales and into England. We just rolled along at no real pace, having Joe Rogan podcasts on and making regular rest stops. And before we knew it, we were back 
packed up one of the regular spots, getting everything ready for work. The weekend was a small reminder to what travelling life was like, but now it was back to the real world, back to work, back to routine. But having the weekend to let me stop, unwind and sort some stuff out had put me in a much better frame of mind. 